The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus Poland. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. A look at the starting lineup for Poland. Well, it's a flat 4 5 1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And so the battle commences. Not what he was intending, bad pass. Well, in every football generation, there's a player who stands above the immortals and Lionel Messi falls in that category. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And he read it well, intercepting it. Krikowiak. Lewandowski now. And a tidy challenge. And they need to get tighter. Now he must favour the cross. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And the penalty has been given here. This to make it 1-0. And slot it home! Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, here we can see it again, and it's a good penalty, you have to say. Straight down the middle, keeper's committed, and all he can do is watch it sail in. Cool as you like.
So underway again here, one nil to score. Taking it away. And support available. Can they take advantage? Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Enzo Fernandez failed to keep hold of it. Kaminski. Throw in here for Poland. Szymaniewski nicely timed tackle well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far but what they've done with it has been really good and they'll be happy with the way the game is being hang played. on a minute Stuart opportunity unfolding well if you make your move too early you're always in danger of being ruled offside lines good work to win the ball back high up the pitch Fernandez Messi and Messi oh a good diving save So two substitutes to come on in one go. Well, they're going for the short one. Lionel Messi. And the keeper caught there. Short corner favourite. Messi. Now well, able to close down the short. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Well, the managers will now deliver their half time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. fine tackle Martinez and the danger cleared real 
goal chance. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. So 2-0 now. And since they have the ball, quite possibly a yellow card as their flow was stopped. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. Fernandez. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. 30 minutes to go then. Chemiswa Frankowski. And it's Pikoviak. And he got to it fairly easily. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Pikoviak. Zielinski, and is this the moment for Lewandowski? Goalkeeper getting in the way, superb save. Let's see about the delivery. Still not clear. And they could face difficulties here. Really bright looking attack. Happy to take on the shot. Making sure it didn't get past him. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Zielinski. Well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Messi. Useful looking ball. In it goes! A three goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And what a clinical finish this is from Lataro. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. Away again, this game very much over as a contest. Ten minutes to go then. And he read it well. Martinez. Now Messi. And fired against the crossbar. And keeper's ball in the end. Well, look at the relief out there. That looked a certain goal, didn't it? And that was a very fine read. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And there goes the final whistle for the third time in history. Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that.
Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.